quadrat, quart, 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 book haul. If you guys are unaware, I live super duper close to the book outlet warehouse. So they had a sale. So me and my mom took a little road trip and I bought a couple of books. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I have is Finding Cinderella by Colleen Hoover. This is like the novella to Hopeless and I loved Hopeless. I'm pretty sure I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I think it was the first Colleen Hoover book that I ever read. I have a love-hate relationship with Colleen Hoover. I really liked Hopeless. I really, really liked It Ends With Us, but Slammed and Point of Retreat, like, they were okay. Ugly Love, it was okay. Maybe Someday, loved that book. So, love-hate relationship, but she's like an autobi author for me, so saw it, picked it up, you know? The next book, I bought solely because of the cover. I thought it was really cool. The premise also sounds cool, so it's not just a cover buy, but it's kind of a cover buy. But it is The Dark Missions of Edgar Brim, and this is by Shane Peacock, and it's about this boy who grew up getting stories from his father, who was a novelist, about like horror and monsters, things like that. So he's been scared of pretty much everything his entire life. And then he gets shipped off to a boarding school where he's picked on because of his fear of things. And then he discovers that these monsters are in fact real. So everybody else was wrong and it's kind of the story of that. But it sounds really cool to me. Apparently it's like a ragtag team of boys that try to like defeat these monsters. But I'm here for it. They're like little demon slayers and I'm ready. The next book I bought, honestly, don't really remember why I bought it, but apparently I thought I needed it, so here we are. <laughs> it is Dream Things True by Mary Marquardt. I'm still saying that wrong. I, <laughs> this is who I am. People get used to it. But this is like a typical contemporary story. It says that it's like a loose retelling of Romeo and Juliet where a southern boy falls for a Mexican-American girl. I don't know. We're gonna read it in between our stabby stabby murder murder books. That's usually why I buy contemporary so we can have that little break. Next book I bought because the premise sounds so freaking cool, but it is scripted by Maya Rock and it follows this girl who's grown up on a reality TV show that's kind of similar to Survivor, like it's a survival kind of thing. But basically what happens is that if your character, not really a character because it's reality, but if you have really low ratings, you get cut from the show, but nobody really knows what happens to the people who are cut. So this girl has very mediocre ratings and she's a little bit worried about whether or not she's going to be cut. And then the producer comes to her with an offer. I'm hoping that it's like, go murder this person or something like that to like, you know, murder, murder, stabby, stabby. But I looked it up on Goodreads and it says that it's paranormal. So don't know how that gets into it, but I'm excited, I'm intrigued. I'm definitely gonna read this soon because I wanna know what the heck it's talking about. The next book I bought because I wanna be part of the bandwagon for it because everybody rates it five out of five stars on Goodreads and I feel like I'm like the only person who has not read this book. It is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. And like I said, I just want to be part of the bandwagon. So we bought it. We're going to read it. We're getting to it. Hopefully, I like it as much as everybody else. But knowing me, I'm probably going to hate it because overhyped books I always don't like. So fingers crossed we do. I'll let you know when I read it. But we're hoping. The next book I have, I have the second book of the series. So we need the first book, obviously. I think I bought them at the same time or I bought the second book and then the first book or reversed. I don't know, but I do know that now I have both of them and it is Exquisite Captive by Heather Demetrios. I read Bad Romance by Heather Demetrios and absolutely loved it. So I saw this book and I was like, I know that author, so I bought it. That's really the only excuse I have, so. The next book I have, I bought because I read another book by her, but it was like a horror and this is a contemporary. So I wanna see like the difference between her writing styles for each genre. It is Athea and Oliver by Christina Morocco. It's about a boy who has narcolepsy and a girl who I think is just like bored in class but they end up falling in love and it's like the story of that but 
it's something about them both sleeping for some reason, but I know that one of them has narcolepsy. The next book I bought because it reminded me of Ned's To Classify School Survival Guide, and we a 90s kid, we like that show, okay? But it was Sleeping Freshman Never Lie, and this is by David Lubar, and it follows a boy who's just starting high school, and his mom ends up getting pregnant, and so he decides that he's going to write a list of, like, tips and tricks for his new sibling on how to, like, survive life. So, I think it sounds kind of cool. I think it sounds pretty fun, so we bought it. The next book I bought is called The Midnight Dress, and it's by Karen Foxley. It says that it's something to do with a witch, and we like paranormal books, so... I think I bought it because it sounded similar to Cinderella, but, like, with witches... That was my thought process when I read the back of the book, but it follows this like really poor girl and then she meets this other girl who convinces her that she needs a dress for the midnight harvest where everybody wears very extravagant dresses and so they go to the town witch who makes dresses and it's like the story of that and then the girl goes missing and it's all this shit goes down. But Cinderella with witches was my thought process. Is that true? We don't know. I guess we'll find out if we read the book. The next book I have is called Belzar and this is by Meg Woltzier and it follows a 16 year old who had a boyfriend but he ended up dying and then she's very troubled with grief for about a year and then her parents are worried about her so they send her off to boarding school. At this boarding school she starts a journal and in this journal she unlocks the like path to a secret world and it's her like spiraling out of control because she's in this world but she's trying to hang on to reality something like that but i was intrigued when i read the synopsis back in the store so i don't know we'll see if we read it hopefully we like it and i'll let you know how it goes when i actually read it which will probably be a very long time because knowing me it's always a very long time. And then the next book I picked up was Because It Was a Fairy Tale Retelling and Your Girl Loves Herself Some Fairy Tale Retellings. It is Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce and this is a Little Red Riding Hood retelling where I think they go on the hunt for the big bad wolf. But I'm here for it. I'm ready for it. I'm super excited. So, alright guys, so that was my haul this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!